This is Mr. Seawright from East Bank Academy's English department. And today I'm going to be talking you through how to find an article for your news review homework and how to use that article to complete your homework. So as you can see here, we have uh, the worksheet that you need to complete for your homework. And it's really important that we complete these homeworks because as it says at the top there, reading good quality journalism is one of the best ways to improve many of your skills in English, such as your vocabulary, learning new words, but also your ability to read and understand what it says in articles, which will be especially useful as you move on through the school where you do more close reading tasks that require you to read and understand articles and write a little bit about them. So, Today, I want us to practice those skills as I talk you through how you can go about completing this homework. Now, the first step is actually not even on this sheet. We need to first find an article that we're going to write about. Now, you might find an article on Twitter, Facebook, some other social media. You might just see an article that you find interesting and you might save a link to it so that you can come back and do it for your news review homework. However, if you're stuck without an article, I'm going to show you how you might find something you find interesting. So the first thing we're going to do is actually go back to our homepage and open up Safari. Now, in Google, a great place that you can go to try and find articles that are relevant to us here in Glasgow um, would be to BBC Scotland. So if we go there and you go to the Scotland homepage for bbc.co.uk, you can find loads of articles that are more relevant to the things we might be interested in. So there's, you can go to any of these tabs to find out more. If you're interested in sport, you can go deeper into here and find plenty of articles that are all about sport. So you could choose one of these, maybe use one of those for your uh, news review homework. Fortunately, I'm not particularly interested in sport, so I'm going to look somewhere else. Stories from Scotland. So this section in the website is all about just stories to do with Scotland and to do with people within Scotland. This is loads of different topics are all found within here, so there surely will be something that catches your eye. Uh, for example, if we look um, in this first row here, uh, the third article seems to be about some sort of murder case and crime. Uh, stories is something I find particularly interesting, so I'm going to click on that article. And here you find uh, you can now read the article. Before even attempting to do your news review homework, I would give the article a full read through first. So I've already taken a read of this article, so I would go through. And I'd read it. I'd find out a little bit more about the story. Find out what's being said. This is all about a person who is murdered and the police are still trying to find out who the killer was. And also a lot of the web, uh, a lot of the stories on bbc.co.uk also come with videos that detail a little bit more about it so you can watch that after you've read the article to find out a little bit more. So I've read this, you've read your article now, what do you do next? Well. If you swipe up at the bottom here, you can bring up this bar, and if you have the news review homework open on Word, you can grab it, bring it to the side, and you can have them both open at the same time. So now, I can go through and have the article on one side, and my homework on the other side, so I can begin answering the questions. So, the first thing we're going to do is start with question one, which is just, where did I find the story? So this is an important thing um, to be able to note down because whenever you use facts from any stories, whenever you are writing essays in this, at, at different points throughout the school, you always need to remember to tell the reader who is reading your essay where you got your information from. So where did I find this story? I found this story on BBC Scotland. So that's question one. Sorted. I have said where I got the story. Number two is a really important one. Summarizing the main points in your article. This is where you're going to go through and explain in four points 
everything you kind of find out in the article. This is something you have to do at National 5 and higher when you read, art read articles. You need to be able to, in short bullet points, explain roughly what the article was about. So I'm going to do that now for the article I have here. So reading this first section, it explains what the story is all about. It's about, about a man who was murdered. So I'll say uh, my first point is that the article is about uh, it is about Paul Matheson. Oh, that's autocorrect has changed how it was spelled. Uh, Paul Matheson, a man who was murdered. Oops. There we go. Uh, so there's my first point in my summary of this article. It is about Paul Matheson, a man who was murdered. If I keep reading, um, I find out... Here's another point in the article, is that CCTV cameras are critical to the investigation because it tells us more about what Paul was doing that night. So I might add, as a second point, CCTV evidence is being used in finding out what happened to Paul. So, summarizing a little bit of information about the article there, now I need to find two more. So, if I go down here, uh, this whole next section is all talking about that they need to figure out the motive for why someone would have wanted to hurt Paul. So, I might add as my third bullet point, the police think that finding a motive will be important for solving the crime. So there's a third point. And finally, if I go down toward the bottom, uh, they talk a little bit about the fact that the article, uh, that the investigation is still ongoing and they're trying to find out a little bit more. Specifically, they're trying to gather forensic analysis. So I might add as a last point, um, the investigation is ongoing and they are gathering more evidence. So very easily four points that summarize the main ideas of the article. As you can see, I put it mostly into my own words. I tried to change it from just quoting the article. I'm trying to show that I understand what the article was about. Now, number three is an easy one because it's just your opinion. What was, it, what was it in the article that made you interested in it? So why did you choose this article? So as I said earlier, um, I am interested in crime stories. So very simply, that's what made me interested in it. I'm interested in crime stories, so that's why I chose this article. It's important to note that being able to identify who might be interested in an article or in a story is some, a very useful skill to have. Being able to read something and say, oh, I think someone like this would like this story. So, oh, I think someone who is interested in crime or someone who wants to be a police officer might be interested in this story. So when you choose one, think, why did I choose that article? Did you choose a sports story because you're interested in sport? Did you choose a story about food because you want to learn more about cooking or you are interested in that job? It's up to you to explain why you chose that article. And I'll say right now, saying something along the lines of, I was interested in this article because I had to choose one for my homework, that's not gonna be good enough. So you need to think, choose something you're interested in and explain why you're interested in it. Now, question five here is, like I said earlier, about building your vocabulary, which was one of the best things about doing more reading of articles like this. Choosing things um, that challenge you and may mean you have to learn new words. So, for example, if we look at this last point I was talking about, um, there's a word that some people might not know, and that is the word forensic. So, some people, um, especially young people, may not know what that word means. It's a word you hear a lot if you're watching 
cop shows, crime shows, you hear the word forensic, but you might not know, know what it means. So this is what this would be a perfect word to use for question five. So I'm going to write down the word forensic. And then I need to go and find a definition. So simple enough, you just open up a new tab and go to Google and type in forensic definition. And you get the meaning. Now I'm going to say you should not just copy this meaning. You should read it and try to understand it and see if you can put the definition into your own words. So it says here that forensic is relating to or denoting the application of scientific methods and techniques to the investigation of crime. So trying to think, oh, how would I say that in a more simple way? I might say that forensic means um, something that is, so something that is related to using scientific um, methods to solve crimes. So that's when you use science to try and figure out, so that's things like fingerprints. Actually, I'll add that, such as fingerprints. So it's when you use things that use science to try and find out more about a crime. Now, you have to do this with three words, but for this example, I'm just gonna do it once, but as it says at the bottom, if you're not really finding any new words that you don't know, then maybe you need to try choosing a slightly harder article because you won't be challenging yourself, you won't be learning more. Then the last task that if you've got it all finished, um, it can help you out a little bit, is to try to use these new words. So. I know that forensic means something related to using science to solve crimes. Uh, so I'm just gonna make up a sentence that uses the word. Uh, I might say something like, the criminal thought he had gotten away with it, but the police used his fingerprints as, I'll put this in bold, forensic evidence. So there's a sentence using the word. This is a really good practice for making sure you really do understand the meaning of the word you're, you've just found out the definition for. Otherwise, you might just be writing down some words that you'll never use. The whole point of this is to give you new words to use, to make your writing sound more interesting, or to be able to describe things in ways you weren't able to before. And this extension task, where you take the words and use them in sentences, really helps to develop that. So, throughout this little guide, we have seen how we can complete one of these news review homeworks. We've shown you how you can go to websites like BBC Scotland to find interesting articles. I've shown you how you can find the information you need to summarize the points of the article, explain why you chose it, why you were interested in it, as well as looking for and explaining the meaning of words you didn't know before. Now you should feel fully prepared to try and make an attempt at this homework yourself. Good luck and thank you very much.